Hey guys, um, nothing much going on, um, you know, big win by the Bucks yesterday, um, 23-19, oh man, um, that run by Winston, that was one, I was one of the, that was, that was the best play I've ever seen in person, um, Bucks Saints Sunday, um, I'll, I'll get into more detail about that in my next stream, which will probably be on Wednesday. So, um, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a headache. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling all that great. So it probably only be maybe like 10 minutes. Sorry guys. Uh, maybe tomorrow start at, uh, you know, maybe like seven, eight o'clock tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Um, So, hey, huge shout out to Gina. Um, uh, huge shout out to Redskins fan um, at Sad Redskin at Sad Redskins fan. Um, sorry about the game tonight. That was a good game. Um, shout out to to Connor McCarty at Connor McCarty. Um, that was a great game. Uh, man, that that division race is crazy. I don't know who's gonna win that. Three teams tied, five and seven. So we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the playoff picture in a in a, in a minute. Uh, but. Actually, I'll get into it right now. Um, for the Bucks, um, we're probably gonna have to win out. Um, cause Seattle's seven and five, and they're probably gonna win ten games. Or well, who knows? They they could win out, and I mean they have a tough game against the Cardinals, and um, yeah, I mean. So, you know, um, uh, I mean, again, we're going to have to win out or, you know, maybe nine and seven gets it done and have some other teams lose. Um, uh, but you got to take care of business this week. Um, and then I'll, yeah, we have the Saints at home this week, and then we got a short week, uh, and then, uh, and have the Redskins, um, four days later, so I'll be huge, um, to come, I mean, I mean, we're down three defensive linemen, so hopefully we get, um, you know, at least a couple of those guys back this week, um, George Johnson's probably likely to come back this week. Um, he's been out what like five weeks, so that helped the pass rush a little better. Um, one of them stepped up. He had uh, two sacks. Um, you know, um, um, it's not official yet, but per sources that uh, Quan Alexander dropped his appeal, and will miss the rest of the regular season. Hopefully we make it to the playoffs. All right, it's gonna be tough. Um, I think it might come down to week 17 for us. I think we can win out. Panthers are gonna be tough, but we can beat the Saints and then go on the road against the Rams on a short week and beat the Rams. And then the Bears come here, and then if we win those three. You're looking at, you know, nine and six. Going, to, I mean, Carolina might not have nothing to play for because they will probably already have the, you know, I mean, they're fifteen and zero. They want they they will want a perfect season. So, and we go to Carolina, so that's the perfect way. Um, and ten and six still might not get it done. Um, I think one of the wild cards is already locked up. Um, whoever wins the NFC North 
um, which would be the Packers or the Vikings. I think I think the Packers are gonna win it, and the um, and the Vikings will, will get one of the wild cards. Um, uh, Vikings have the fifth seed, and the Seahawks is the sixth seed. So if we win next week and the Seahawks lose the Ravens, and I mean they lost, I mean they lost Flacco for the year, so you know, um, so um, so uh, I'm very tired tonight, guys. Um, I don't know I just got a lot of stuff going on. Um. Hey, but huge shout out to Kevin Kern. I mean, we had that we had that crowd, we had that crowd pumped up the whole almost the whole game. And um, man, that place that place I've never that I, that was the craziest, loudest atmosphere I've ever been a part of. Um, I mean, I can't even hear myself talk. I mean, I can't even hear myself speak. Uh, I couldn't hear my own voice after um that. So I mean, and the first time we swept the Falcons since 2007. So hopefully we can sweep back to back uh division opponents. I'll be huge with three one our in our division. Um, I think four. Well, I, I think maybe five and one is even uh. I think we can do that. I mean, we didn't have no division wins last year, no home wins last year. Already triple our win total from last year. I mean, that's a big improvement. Um, I think maybe next year, eleven and five. You know, maybe twelve and four. Um, got the Seahawks in Tampa next year. That's gonna be a big game. Um, Denver Broncos coming to Tampa. Pam Manning. That's a dream. That's a dream matchup. Winston versus. I mean. Um, and there's a chance we might host a wild card game if, if the Redskins win it and they st in the they stay one one game back. We'll host a wild card game, so we'll see. But you know, um, I don't know. Oh. But I'll be back Wednesday um, for my official prediction and uh, go through some stuff. Um, actually, I'll get into it a little bit right now. Um, okay, first of all, um, Austin Severin Jenkins returned this week. Um, he had three catches on six targets. Um, I think he played like or had like half the snaps. So I mean that, that's no surprise. I mean he's missed what nine weeks. So you, you know this week probably he should, he'll probably get you know probably seventy five percent of the snaps or easing back in. Um, I mean, and um, Mike Evans and Vince Jackson are first in the league in first down percentage. Um, Doug Martin, second league, second, second leading rusher, um, four rush, four rushing touchdowns, three receiving touchdowns, uh, with a combined 1,400 yards, uh, 1,100 on the ground, and, uh, almost 300 yards, uh, receiving, and three receiving touchdowns, so, and Jameis, I mean, over his, what, eight, at least eight games, Eight touchdowns and and only two picks. I mean that's that's good. Um, and over 700 yards and like 61 completion percentage, 90 um, uh, QB uh, QB rating. Um, Vincent Jackson three catches 87 yards on five targets. Okay, um, so you know. I like how we um got the run game going early, so that that 
set up the uh, play action, you know, to our big receivers, Mike Evans, uh, Vincent Jackson. So, um, and the defense, I mean, missing three three key defensive starters. I mean, Jerry McCoy, best, I mean, best defense attack in the league. Chris Smith, um, speed rusher. Um, but I, that guy, that, that guy can play, um, he has a hamstring, I don't, I don't know, it, hamstrings can be, can be tricky, um, you know, it could be one week, it could be, it, it could be four weeks, I mean, you never know, um, you know, I've seen some players miss four or five games, I mean, um, now for a defensive lineman, it's it's kind of different for a receiver. You have to you know run your routes and defensive lineman. You're not always running all, all the time. So I mean I don't know if he can go this week. That'll be huge. Um, we got William Golston. He's what three four sacks this year, and he's I mean um, he got two sacks Sunday. It's huge. Um, Howard Jones. Um, he has what five sacks in seven games. Um, George Johnston, I think he'll be back this week. Um, it's been, what, four front games, so even though he doesn't have a sack this year, I think, I think he'll finish a year, you know, maybe getting, I don't know, three, four sacks, and, um, so, um, you know, um, But the play with J by uh, by Jameis was one of the best plays I've ever seen. Again, uh, we have a third and nineteen, and I'm sitting in my seat at the game um, on the other side of the pirate ship in uh, 122 section 122, and it's about two minutes, but two minutes forty seconds left in the fourth quarter, and uh, we had a third and nineteen, and we get like I was like. Hmm. He got like 11 yards after the initial contact, and I was like, and I was like, oh man, I don't, I don't, we're gonna have to go for and fourth down. And it was like, and there was like, all of a sudden, I see him spinning up, spinning, and going around the uh, going around the defenders and gets a first down. And then uh, Doug Martin gets a couple runs into the five or ten, into the five yard line. And then uh, Mike Evans gets a touchdown, gives us a lead, 23-19. Um, and then uh, Levante did. Levante David seals it, seals it with a game, game-ending interception. Um, that place went nuts. Um, I went crazy. Everyone, everyone was going crazy. Um, so, a uh, huge shout out to Wizards Nation. Um, you know, um, congrats on the win tonight, uh, Wizards, I think, was it, I don't, the final score was 114-103, so, um, you know, uh, good game, um, Um, I mean, there's not really much to talk about. Um, don't say don't say Um, you know about you know about it'll be four years it'll be four years in uh, March um, about, um, um I don't know it's hard to talk about um but you know um 
a hey, huge shout out to uh, Gino Doku. Um, again. Um, I'll be on Wednesday to talk more about the, um, you know, um, I don't know, guys, um, if you have any questions, um, you can, um, tweet me or DM me at, uh, Eric Merrill, uh, 1234, um, if you have any, you know, suggestions on, what do I want me to talk about? Um, I'm a big sports guy. Um, you know, um, and um, hey, um, shoot. Huge shout out to A Catsman eighty three. Um, he's awesome. Um, big Bucks fan, big Rays fan, big Lightning fan. Um, one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Um, so um, you know. Um, <sighs> All right, guys. Um, for you guys on the West Coast, yeah, it's still kind of it's still kind of early over there. It's only what ten thirty nine. Um, so maybe I'll be. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, uh, tomorrow, uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon. Um, uh, um. All right, guys. I'm signing off.